Hi Jill. Um, this episode is specifically for you, but anyone else who wants to watch it is more than welcome to. Feel free. Uh, this will be these will be in a couple installments. Uh, what I'm doing here for you, Jill, is teaching you my uh, Cyrillic for English. Cyrillic is the alphabet they use to write Russian and a bunch of other Slavic languages. It's originally based off of Greek um, via Old Church Slavonic and eventually ended up what we have today as Cyrillic, which it's named that because it was, um, at least they say it was, invented by Saint Cyril, which his name is, if you can, see, there you go, Saint Cyril. Therefore, the eraser work, oh, sorry, <laughs> the alphabet is called this Cyrillic. Ta -da. Now, um, I developed a way to use it to write. Um, first, I did it with Esperanto because uh, the guy who invented Esperanto, uh, Dr. Ludwig Zamenhof, uh, he was Russian. <laughs> that easy. So I figured it was only fitting that you could write Esperanto, the language he made, with Russian. Um, and that eventually led into me creating it for English. So I'm just going to start you off, Jill, learning some of the basic things of how I use it. And you can learn this as a tutorial. All right. This. This is the letter A. Yeah, yeah. It's the same as English. Um, however, in Cyrillic um, for English, Cyrillic for English, I like to call it Krillic. Don't ask me why. I call it, so if you hear me say Krillic, from now on, that's what it's called, you'll recognize it. In Krillic, those, that let, um, uppercase, lowercase, only makes the sound a, as in cat, a, as in father, or a, uh, as in about. This is really crappy, I know. See? Because acrylic is phonetic. Yay! All right, this is going to go too long here soon. So I'll just only do a few, and the next time I'll do more. So those letters make a, a, and a. Uh, but only when the a uh in English would be written with an a. If it would be written differently, you'd use a different letter. Then you have the letter b which this is different from English. Equals, there we go. That is B. This. Nope, wrong, wrong side, wrong side. Ah, stupid webcam. And I can't talk with a marker in my mouth. Nope, no, no, there we go, there we go. B uppercase, B lowercase in acrylic. All right. Then, the alphabet has different order than ours. You have V, which this is where it starts getting really annoying. Yep, you see the problem now, don't ya? Oh, wrong side, wrong side. I hate this. V uppercase, V lowercase. Yeah, you understand. It's a little confusing. But once you get used to it, it um, it does get much easier, much easier. Let's see. I'll do two more letters just here, real quick. Uh, which ones? Oh, oh, oh! I'll teach you two things you need to know about A. The letter A. All right, because it's phonetic. You have other things. You have. Sorry, I mean to talk to you more while I do these, but I'm concentrating a little. I'm sorry. All right, and you also have All right. These. The top one A with a little backwards N with a little uh, smiley face thing. It's called a brief over it. Makes the sound I as in I or I'll. All right, 
That's the only sound it makes. And then, sorry, then the other one, the A with a Y with the little smiley face thing, called a breathe, over it makes the sound ow, as in house. TV show I know you love, house. Anyways, all right? So remember those two combinations. So if you want to say, oh, oh, I can teach you a word, vibe, you would see it written like, I'll give you a second to think about it. All right, write it down on a piece of paper what you think. All right, got it written down? I hope so. This is what it would look like. That would be vibe in acrylic. Yay! Lesson one of acrylic. I'm going to make another lesson right here away, but I just wanted to get this off and explain it and some stuff so you can begin to learn it. Anyone else who wants to learn Cyrillic for English, aka acrylic, more than welcome to. Go ahead. I'd be happy. I'd be honored, actually. So, see you in the next lesson. Ta-ta!